Hey, uh, seriously, we're glad you're here. So much, thank you so much for, for being a part of this today. Uh, and uh, uh, it's just such a special time for us to get to do this together as a church. Uh, we've been doing this. Uh, we've been doing this for 17 years. This is the 17th time, and uh, 17 years ago, uh, we did it here in this same exact spot. Uh, you know, believe it or not, and then we've it's kind of moved around a few times. And of course, we do we do baptism. And let me say that we do baptism. We'll do a baptism pretty much any Sunday uh, in our own building uh, that somebody is feeling led to do that, want to do that. Uh, this is just a this this just has turned into one of those things for us as a church to be a great time of fellowship uh, and community together, uh, and to get to celebrate what God's done in people's lives together as well. So. Uh, we're so grateful that we can do it and that you would come out, especially on a day when we know it's rainy and all those kinds of things. And, uh, as the Lord does, he, he makes his, He makes these things happen, uh, as He's doing right now, which I'm very grateful for. Uh, I want to read to you a passage of Scripture, uh, if I can, here. And uh, this is out of the book of Acts. And uh, and it says, yeah, that's what I thought. It's Acts 2. And in Acts 2, uh, we see uh, Peter give this sermon at Pentecost, and if you're not familiar with this, it's totally worth your time to go just read and check out Acts 2, maybe later today or sometime this week or whatever, uh, and just see what God was doing in the beginning of the early church, and we, we have this passage that's at the very end of Acts 2 that, we've, that we talk about a lot, but at the, end of, at the end of Peter's message, before we see the response, we see the beginning of the response uh, of people that uh, uh, had, had begun to believe in Christ. Uh, and their lives begin to be changed and uh, all of that. And so I want to read just a little bit of that. It says in verse 37, it says, Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. I love that. And said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit for the promises for you and for your children and for all who are far off everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself and with many other words he bore witness and continued to exhort them saying save yourselves from this crooked crooked generation so those who received the word were baptized and those uh, and there were added that day about 3,000 souls now it's believed that the understanding of that passage is that it was about 3,000 men and then plus women and children as well, uh, probably somewhere, in the, it could have been somewhere in the neighborhood of five or 6,000, maybe even more than that, we don't really know. Um, but then it goes on and here's, and here's, and here's more of like the, the change that's happened in these people. And it says in verse 42, and they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And all came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. And all who believed were together and, all, and had all things in common. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. Folks, here's the, here's the thing. The, the, whole, the whole, whole purpose and reason that 24 Church exists isn't because there aren't already churches. It's just because we believe that God wanted to use a different type of church to, re, to reach different types of people with the same message of Jesus Christ is the one that saves all. And we believe that as much today as we did 17 years ago. And, uh, you know, you may be here today and you may be kind of, you know, in your head kind of bouncing around. Do I really believe in this Jesus God? Do I really, do I really buy into the gospel? Do I, really, do I really believe that he was the son of God, that he gave his life, that he died on a cross, that he shed his blood for us, that he took the death that we deserve for our sin? that I might have forgiveness, that I might have eternal life, that we might defeat death in the afterlife? Absolutely. I hope if you're, if you're thinking about that, if you're praying about that, I hope that you would believe in that today. I'm praying that God would lead you in your heart toward himself, that you would believe that today. Um, what we're doing today is not God saving people. It is the showing that God has already saved people. Uh, and so today is the announcement 
It's like the it's like the birth announcement. It's the the new birth uh, of these people's lives that we're celebrating together today, and what God has already done in them. Uh, nothing special about the water. It's the same old Cumberland that you and I know and love. And uh, but uh, again, we're grateful and grateful that you're here with us today. Benny, go ahead. All right. So this is Gavin Hall here. You know, Gavin is a sixth grader. I've known Gavin since he was a, a wee little thing. Him and my son are friends. Are their family are friends of ours? Um, here recently, Gavin, you know, came to know the know the Lord and just kind of felt this desire to to know Him and um, you know asked to be baptized. And you know, sometimes you know you do interviews with people and there's like certain things that we we want to know and and just make sure that that those are getting baptized and understand, you know. And so I just, I kind of asked Gavin real point blank, real quick. And I was like, hey, tell me this, tell me that, man. And he rattled it off like he he, he knew it. Like he just knew it uh, and he believed it. And so it's exciting to see, you know, young kids come to know the Lord and grow in their life following the Lord. So this is Gavin. And so, Gavin, do you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Died on the cross for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes, sir. Well, it's my pleasure, my honor to baptize you, my brother Gavin, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So now we've got Sawyer Moulton. Uh, Sawyer, this kid is tenacious. You give him anything, he's going to be a go-getter, so I cannot wait to see what this guy is going to be doing for Christ. Because uh, he is, he, there's very little, if any, fear to him. He just gets out and he goes. Uh, we're so pleased that... Uh, and he's wearing jorts. <laughs> <laughs> and Jay and I are pleased to be able to, to minister to this kid and really to the whole family. And uh, today he's coming forward to show that he has received Christ as his Lord and Savior. Um, do you believe that you've received Christ? And that he died for your uh, sins and mine. All right. You let you grab your hand. Grab your nose. Yeah, hold your nose. Yeah, you don't drink the water. Yeah, keep your eyes closed. <laughs> yep. All right. We baptize you now, our brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ and raised in baptism. <laughs> <laughs> Double dose, bud. <laughs> This is my uh, son, Starkville Atkinson, and, uh, you know, we, as a family, talk about the gospel all the time, but uh, Megan and I are trying to, to help our kids understand that it's not just knowing the facts, that God does something to your heart, and uh, so we've talked about that a lot, and I guess it was the end of last school year, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he came, I was up in the office working one night at the house, and uh, he was laying on the couch trying to sleep, and and God started talking to him, and uh, he started talking back. And so he, he told me what was going on, and we discussed it some. And um, and you became a Christian that night. So uh, I'm just super excited. Nothing better than getting to baptize your own kids. So Starkville, go ahead and grab my arm. There you go. You grab my hand. There you go. All right. Do you confess Jesus is Lord? Do you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead? Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's my privilege to baptize you, my son, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> this is Rux Rochelle, and... Uh, Although Rux isn't one of my kids, he's pretty close to being one of my kids. Uh, Rux and his family are very, very close friends to our family. Uh, they mean a lot to us, and uh, they live two doors down. So our kids have grown up together, and Rux spends a lot of time at our house, and our kids spend a lot of time at their house, and riding in the van and all the things. And uh, anyway, it's been a, it's just awesome, been awesome to watch Rux grow up. Um, and just watch just him and his personality, how much he cares for other people, uh, and to see God working and moving in his life uh, is just, just amazing and, and so encouraging to me, uh, and I know very much so for his parents. 
Uh, Rux, most important question I got for you, buddy. Do you know without a doubt that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. You're not afraid of it? Yes, you want to tell the world about it? Yes, sir. Awesome. There you go. It is my privilege to baptize you, my brother Rux, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're having a, a moment over here. It's cold, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this is Nathaniel here. Uh, Nathaniel, I'm going to ask you a very important question, okay? Don't get it wrong. There's a lot of pressure right here. Don't get it wrong. Right? Do you believe without a shadow of a doubt that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Died on the cross for your sins? Yes, sir. All right. Well, it's my privilege, my honor to baptize you, my brother Nathaniel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We got to meet on Friday and uh, got to hear more of his story and just how God's moving in his life. And uh, he was telling me how, as he grew up, he just kind of slowly became an arrogant person. And he was in church one day and really felt like God broke him of that and started teaching him that he needed to serve others. And uh, and so it was just it was just awesome to hear how God's working in his life. And it was awesome to talk about the gospel together. And so I'm excited to baptize you. All right. Robert, uh, do you confess Jesus is Lord? I do. Do you believe uh, that God raised him from the dead? I do. All right. Then I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is, uh, this is Nicole Roney, and uh, I've had the pleasure of knowing Nicole and her family for many, many years. Uh, it's been such, such an awesome uh, thing to get to be a part of their lives, to see what God has done in them and through them, continues to do in them. I have, I have just watched them grow in Christ, uh, and I'm just so very grateful for them and a little partial to this family just because of how much they've just meant to me over the years. And, um, have they've loved our family? We've loved theirs. So, uh, Nicole, today you have an opportunity to tell the world that Jesus is your Savior. Is that what you're here to do? Yes. You know, without a shadow of a doubt, that Jesus saved you, died on the cross for you, rose from the grave. Yes. Awesome. Hold on. It is my privilege to baptize you, my sister Nicole, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, why don't you tell everybody, at, this is Adeline Tweedale, and uh, Nicole wants you to tell everybody who Adeline is to you. Adeline is my niece, and she wants me to baptize her today. Awesome. Adeline, do you know without a doubt that Jesus has saved you? Yes. You're sure of it? Yes. You want everybody to know about it? Yes. You're positive? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. It is Nicole's privilege today to get to baptize you, her sister, our sister, her niece, Adeline, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. So this is Hayden. This is her dad, Rick. Um, it's really a neat. It's a neat thing, you know. Probably like a lot of us that grew up in the church, you know, it was usually always the pastor that baptized the baptized anyone or whoever wanted to be baptized. It was a pastor or, or one of them that would baptize it. And so it's really neat. And that's one of the things from early on that we always said, you know, we feel that those who have been the most influence in someone's life, to give them that opportunity and that option to baptize whoever it may be, like we saw with um, Nicole and Adeline. You know, and then here we are in this next little group, we get to see two dads baptize their kids or, you know, and also Ben earlier. But, you know, that's what... That's what it looks like to be parents, is to, to pour into your children's life and ultimately lead them to the Lord. So it's, it's, it's neat to get to see moments like this, the proof 
of what it looks like to parent your child in the church and in loving Jesus. So, Hayden, are you ready? All right. So, Hayden, do you believe without a shadow of a doubt that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Died on the cross for your sins yes, sir. and rose back to life. Yes, sir. So it's your dad's privilege to baptize you his daughter and his sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> there you go. All right, so I am pleased to have Laura Moulton with us. So we saw her son Sawyer earlier. This is Levi kind of inching his way up. And uh, what a wonderful family. Her husband JJ's here as well. They came to us through the preschool initially. Uh, they started with us and uh, they were attending in Clarksville and said, you know what? We just feel really drawn to come here and to be a part of the body and to be known. You know, and to be able to support and love people and be a name and not just a number. And we're so glad to have her here. Now, she's not a new believer. Um, she has was sprinkled early on in life, and she's just following the commands of uh, baptism at this point. And Laura, do you believe that Christ died for your sins? Yes, I do. And that he rose again on the third day? I do. All right. So I baptize you now, my sister. You want to hold your nose? You yep. To okay. I baptize you now, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism and raised to walk in the name of the Lord. Thank you. These are my sons, Finn and Court. And just like Jason said, this is what it's about. Um, it's a real honor to be able to do this with my sons from the day they're born. They need rescue, and we can't do that. There's only one that can do that, and that's Jesus. And, man, this is what we pray and hope for. And they know Jesus. And it's an honor to be able to be a part of their testimony, and they're showing all you who they are in Jesus. And you're going to live for Jesus the rest of your lives, right, boys? Yes. yes. I'm going to baptize Court first. Being step aside. <laughs> it's weird calling your son your brother, but he is my brother now. My brother Court, is Jesus your Lord and Savior? Is he the way, the truth, and the life? Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt, he's your Savior. Yes. Yeah. I baptize my brother Court in Jesus' name, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. My brother Finn, is Jesus your Lord and Savior? Is your way, truth, and life? Yes. All right. I baptize my brother Finn in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All right. So I'm excited today to have the Womack family almost in its entirety here. Uh, to come down. Uh, the girls have professed their faith uh, in Christ and, and they're coming today to, to, to show our congregation and the world uh, what it truly means. And in fact, when I did the interviews with them, I gotta tell you, it's probably some of the quickest baptism uh, little sessions that we had because those girls, they knew their stuff. They were ready to go. In fact, um, they were so excited to do this for the chance to show those of you who may not have received Christ yet uh, the glory and the power that is contained within that. And so their parents are here today to be able to baptize them um, with Tyler and Rachel. We're so excited to have them here today. Okay. So this is Hannah. This is my daughter. Hannah, do you confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Dead on the cross for you? Yes, sir. All right. I'll baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Molly, my daughter. Uh, Molly, do you believe in Jesus Christ, that he rose uh, from the grave for us? Um, baptize you, Molly, my sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> this is 
This is uh, this is Mike. Mike, introduce everybody here. This is my son Brian, and this is my granddaughter Abigail. Awesome. So Mike's gonna baptize them, but I'm gonna baptize him first. Great. So Mike, uh, do you come here today to confess that Jesus is Lord? Yes, I do. And you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead? Yes, sir. Full fact. Awesome. I'm glad to my hand here. And I baptize you, my brother Mike, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Take your breath. <laughs> All right, Brian. That's my son, Brian. I had the privilege of leading him in a prayer for the Lord a few years back. He's never been baptized, just like me. Uh, but we want to set the record straight. We want everybody to know where we stand. And it's my privilege to, to baptize you today, son. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and that Jesus God raised him from the dead on the third day? Yes, sir. All right. My son, my brother, Brian, and I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. This is Abigail Roberts. This is my granddaughter. Uh, she got saved at Head's Church, but has never had the privilege to be baptized until now. So it's my honor to baptize her today. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord? Yes, sir. Saved you from your sins and God raised him on the third day? Yes, sir. All right. My granddaughter, my sister, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. She's not a new believer. She was sprinkled when she was little, but she wants to set the record straight and just tell everybody that she loves Jesus and, and he died for her sins. So mom, my sister, do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? Yes. Without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. She's scared. <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, her <laughs> I promise you, once you get all the way in, it'll be better. It'll be better. I like it. 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 This is the Oliver family and uh, Jeff, Diane, and their, their daughters, Abby and Emma. And they've recently joined our, our MC, and we're so happy to have them. Recently started coming to 24. Um, I'm going to baptize Jeff first, and then parents are going to baptize their daughters. But Jeff's known the Lord for a long time. I got to hear some about his story this week. He, I think, really came to faith probably in high school, uh, but has never been baptized uh, by immersion. So we're going to do that today. He wants to let all of you know that he's a follower of Jesus. All right. It's really good on this side. All right. Let's see. All right, my brother Jeff, are you right. confessing that Jesus is Lord? I am. And do you believe God raised him from the dead? I do. Awesome. Then I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I should have taken that off. This is Emma, right? Yeah. And Diane's gonna baptize Emma. Emma, are you ready? All right. Do you do you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins? Okay. Is he the Lord of your life? Awesome. Then it's your mom's privilege to baptize you, her daughter and her sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Are you are you are you you good? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, no, wait a minute. Hey. 
Hey, okay. She's ready to go. Abby, do you believe that Jesus is your Lord and personal Savior? All right. I baptize you, my daughter and sister in Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. No, you may you may kind of wonder how in the world did this ever begin to be a thing? You know, we see Jesus baptized by John the Baptist. John the Baptist started baptizing people. Uh, it's uh, right there at the river. You got to imagine that for uh, that time period, especially everything everything happened at the river. Commerce happened at the river. All these things, and uh, the deal with the deal with baptism was something that was already happening to show people's lives being changed, an old life and a new life. John the Baptist saw this, said, hey, uh, this, is, this is the right thing to do for people that have received Christ as their Savior, believed in Jesus. And so he started baptizing people. Jesus comes to him and says, I want you to baptize me. Uh, and so we see Jesus baptized and that sort of thing. Again, it's, it's a public declaration. It's an opportunity to say, this is who I am, and this is who God is in my life. This is who Jesus is in my life. So... Uh, it's a it's such a it's such an awesome awesome opportunity for us to get to celebrate uh, this and the lives of all these folks here together with us today. Uh, I think to end us, uh, I think Nathan is going to lead us in a little something something here, uh, and uh, I'm going to turn it over to him. Oh, victory in Jesus. My Savior forever, He sought me and bought me with His redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew Him, and all my love is to Him. He plunged me to victory. Thank you. 